Hello everyone and welcome back to Battle Cats. Now you guys might be wondering, why the hell am I in the middle of a battle right now? What's that about? Well, I was actually just about to finish up a video. This is my last try on attack on titanium and then I was gonna be done and the power went out. So I lost my uh, game recording. I lost my uh, webcam recording. I lost a microphone recording. I lost everything and now we're gonna do it all over again. So yeah, we're in the middle of, uh, middle of a battle right now, guys. I have uh, all my metal units ready to go. Okay, I got Michelangelo, which knocks him back. I got, um, let me, let me just show you. Uh, Clockwork Cat, I think his name is. This guy right here, he slows him down. So I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna try and send these two guys out for a little bit to slow him down a bit. This, this is not gonna work, is it, bro? You're just gonna die? There you go, now you slowed him down. So if we can knock these guys back, I'm hoping we can, um, we can, we can take out the metal units, and then once the metal units are gone, we're gonna work on the big guy who comes out. That right there is Super Metal Hippo, which isn't good, because he's a real bitch, but, but we'll be okay. With these, with these guys, it might actually be pretty easy, because look at this, he just knocked him back again. I don't want to go too close to the base, so I actually need to be careful here, because if I go too close to the base, I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna trigger the the big eye to come out, and that's not gonna be good. So what am I doing? I feel like this is a bad idea to just uh, just hang back for a second. But yeah, if I went too close, that wouldn't have been good either. So we're in a weird place right now. Knock him back! Knock him back! Come on! Come on, bro! Don't screw this up for me. Ah, oh, okay, okay, that was good. Figured I might as well send in my Ubers while I'm at it. They're not gonna do that much to metal enemies. I'm pretty sure they only do one damage to them. But look, I don't know what to do here. Okay, this is a very tricky situation right now. Because I was really close, I was holding him back, and there goes that guy, which is good. But then I had to say, well, do I keep on attacking from here, and then end up triggering the guy, or do I wait? I don't want to trigger the guy, I need these guys gone first. So, yeah, I think I might be screwed, but we'll see. Now, this was supposed to be my last attempt at this one, but I am going to do it again. Okay, I have some energy, so why not just do it, right? Right? So the first thing you do is you wait a million years and you get to level eight because they don't come out until about then. So you got lots of times to do lots of time to do that. Then you need to let this guy come about halfway and then you need to start spamming spamming them with all your units. I think that'll do the trick. You know, I don't even think it's worth putting out my Ubers guys. I tried that, but then you end up with a shortage later when you need to put out these guys. And they're not that expensive, but they come back pretty quick. Like, they regenerate really quickly, so you end up draining your money pretty fast on them. And, um, I think that was a bit of an issue last time. But mainly, I just, I, I was worried that I was gonna push back too far, so I held off. And that, I think, got me. So I'm gonna wait till about halfway. Then we're just gonna go for it. And... go. This should be good. So let's just, let's just start throwing it on them. Cause look, look at this. Look at how fast Jump Rope comes back. I love Jump Rope. They're actually pretty powerful, man. I was watching them do some shit in, uh, in another level. Look at that. Done. Oh, great. Freaking fantastic. There you go. Save us, Super Metal Hippo. Because if we get too close, bad things are going to happen. Push us back. It's all good, dude. I know I'm putting out units right now, but I'm in a similar situation as before. But he is guarding them. Okay, he's guarding the base. So let's just let this happen. Oh, we got knocked back. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't good. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna send them. You're gonna send them out, and that's not gonna be good. You're gonna you're gonna die. We're gonna die. Look, look, we're all dead now. We're all dead now. Way to go. Ah, oh, what am I gonna do? Try again? Should it not be halfway? Halfway seemed like a bad point. But look, we can we can knock this guy back, and maybe we can knock the other guy back, and maybe if we just keep on focusing, all these metal units will be okay. <laughs> maybe we'll be okay. We need critical attacks, guys. Those are the only things that actually do any damage to metal units. And we're not getting any right now. Why? I don't know why. Stupid assholes. You're all stupid assholes. I'm removing my Ubers, okay? I'm gonna keep trying this one. Just for- No, 90%! That's all we got was 90%! No! No way! I'm removing my Ubers because they don't do anything here because it's all metal, okay? So, goodbye Ubers, hello critical attackers or something. Let me see. Do we have any- well, we can put these guys in. I took these guys out because they take such a long time to come back, and I figured Ubers would be better, but Ubers are not better. Well, it says that a Matarazu is effective against metal. Now, I don't know if that means she can actually do anything to him or not, but that's what it says. Okay, so we'll put her in. It's, it's effective against anything with a trait, and metal have a trait, so... I'm gonna give that a try, okay? If she does nothing, she does nothing, but we've got- we've got more anti-metal in the lineup now, so... Just bear with me here. It's funny how this guy is pretty lame now. He used to be kind of intimidating, but now that I've got uh, so many anti-metal units, doesn't seem so bad. 
still gonna be bad. But look, but look, he's he's like right here. So let's go ahead and put a bunch of stuff out. We can put all the stuff out, and now he's. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Well then, we're not gonna be so effective against this guy. All right. But we're just gonna keep on sticking at our units now. And now we've got a rhino as well. No big deal. Everybody, calm down. We gotta take these guys out and then get to the base. Now I've tried this before. When the rhino came out, there's a seal after it. It was bad. Rhino's dead. Okay, so don't worry about him. Stop. Stop it. 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 Stop doing that. Stop. Shit. I'm done. Okay, I'm done with that stage. Attack on titanium is too much for me, and I've wasted enough time on it. If I didn't try and do that level in the first place, I would have got my video recorded before the power went out, and I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> All right, let's do something else. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys uh, one of the new cats I got, Maiden Cat. Uh, she is part of the teacher. It's spring set of levels, and I've already went through it three times, but there's no like good chance to get her, so I had to use a treasure raider on her. Now I got her. She's level 25, which means that she has her third form, because I also did the Maiden Awake stage. So right now, just Maiden Cat. Her punches are messages to convey the pure emotions in her heart. Strong against red enemies. Then she evolves into Sports Girl Cat. Finished with matters of the heart, she turned to sports. Now no one can stop her. Strong against red enemies. And she's dedicated her life to sport. She is Wrestling Cat. Her unmatched physical power has earned her 22 gold medals in crushing red enemies. So she's basically Jamira Cat, but for red enemies. Which is nice because she can go in my anti-red lineup with the Eye Cat. And um, what else is there? Well, there's a whale and whatever. Okay, she's going to be good with the anti-red setup. Which is uh, one of my favorite setups because of the fact that it has Eye Cat in it. And I love Eye Cat. Anyway... So, what are we gonna do? I don't know, man. I already did what I wanted, and now I gotta do something else. You know? Well, currently, guys, there is a collab going on with a game called Crash Fever, which was also made by Ponos, the people who made Battle Cats. So, uh, they're giving away, like, rewards and stuff in that game, and I've already done the levels here, but, uh, this is the first set of levels, and it shows you your collab gifts. Let me see the time scores here. So, I got that one. I didn't get this one. And I got that one. So what, how did I do on this one? 44, 84. I can do better than that. Okay. So uh, this one's called Fever Time. It's got some uh, enemies from Crash Fever. And also you can get some cats in Crash Fever from Battle Cats. And I'll show you that after. But let's uh, let's put together uh, something here. How about... Uh, mm, I don't need anti-red. This is my anti-red setup. So Jamira should probably be replaced with the uh, Maiden Cat or something. But then again, Jamira has a really high level. So... Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Uh, what are we gonna do? Mm, where's the one with, there, this one here. Let's go with that. Okay, give me my 5,000 points. It's all I want and I'll be out of your hair. Okay, here they come. So these are the people. Okay, they're, they're people from uh, from Crash Fever. I only played it for a few seconds. I'll, uh, I'll go and show you guys the rewards in a second. It's kind of like um, Bejeweled mixed with uh, like a fighting game kind of thing you gotta you gotta like tap on the, the little jewels and then you do combos and you use those combos to fight I don't know it's it's thing okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go after I need to move faster or I'm never gonna get this reward guys I want a 5,000 points I don't know if it's gonna happen come on Valkyrie cat help me out here come on you can do it you got like you're like level 30 something or whatever all right well this didn't turn out the way I hoped because I'm pretty sure it just took me a million years to complete this stage and I'm definitely not gonna get that 5,000 score how did I do Lord Jesus just forget it okay just just forget it anyway guys there's collab gifts for this okay so if you hit the collab gifts and you launch the crash fever I know what's gonna happen here okay I'm just looking through this stuff guys I already claimed one thing but I thought there might have been some more there's a lot of stuff here man what's this oh special clear Moon moonlit city in battle cat so I got some polygons damn right I did what are what are they I don't know all right I'm gonna use 50 polygons to try the rare hatcher one time use hatcher Sure. So this is the same thing as like the cat tickets, except it's this guy. What you got for me? Come on. Oh, he spit out an egg. Okay. I got this thing. It's a super rare. I wanted a cat. Come on. What are you? What are you doing? I want cats. Come on. All right. This is fast liver behemoth. Cool, I guess. I'm gonna hatch again. This time we're gonna get a cat. And none of this bullshit. I'm skipping it, okay? Get out of here. 
Yeah, we got a cat, a super rare. This is the, what is it, a night cat or something? You, you night cat, bro? Swordsman cat, of course. Okie dokie. Well, um, so the way this game works, I'll just show you, considering there's a big crossover collab thing and people are asking me to cover the whole, they're like, hey, you gonna play Crash Fever? And I was like, nah, probably not, but I'll do it like for part of the Battle Cats video. You know, I got gifts, I want those gifts. Okay, I have three tickets from this exciting cat ticket thing. I'm gonna open these, okay. Whatever these are gonna do, it's similar, I suppose. Okay, yeah, same thing, skip that, what do we got? What do you get, oh, it's rainbow, so that's good. Gotta be a good thing, right? Oh, damn, ultra rare, yeah. We got the Titan Cat, guys. I'm actually super excited about this because I love the Titan Cat, okay? Let's hatch some more things. I just wanna hatch all the things. Come on, what you got for me? Oh, it's a gold cat. It's a super rare. It seems like everything I'm getting is super rare, guys, which is which is cool with me. Oh, it's sorry, it's a yellow metal cat. It's not gold. Know the difference. Again! Oh, this one's a rainbow again, guys. I don't know if that means anything. Last time I had a rainbow, I got an ultra rare. Huh? Ultra rare! So this one is, what, red macho? Is that what you're telling me here? Red metal macho cat. Okay. Are these supposed to be good? Because I can't really relate this to what I know about battle cats. Oh, I'm gonna do the 10 times hatcher here, guys, because I have enough for that. And this is all the battle cat stuff, right? But there's also another one over here, which also has battle cats, like Catman and such. Hmm, do I see anything I want in here? I already did this one, I think. This is number one. Which one did I do before? I don't know, I'm just gonna do 10 in here, okay? Use Hatcher, because you get like a half price if you do 10. Come on, bro, skipping this shit. Oh, okay, so we got uh, we got one rainbow. So that mean there's an ultra rare here? Is that what you're telling me? This thing, it's an ultra rare, yeah! I figured it out, guys. Rainbow means ultra rare. More, please. Okay, uh, you're not a cat, go away. I want cats. Go away, you're not a cat. I want cats. Stop it, you're not a cat. You gotta be a cat, right? I just did a crossover, no, stop it. Cat, 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 not a cat. You don't even look like Pinocchio. You don't even have a long nose. Get out of here. I thought I was getting cats, guys. I was so excited to open up 10 of the things and get all kinds of cats coming out of it. I thought it was gonna be right good. Uh, what do you, no, go away, I don't want this. I'm gonna use one more hatcher, okay? On this one here, it's crossover number two. I could get, I could get a cat man. So I'm not gonna get a cat man, but I'll get something. Now that looks really boring, it's like super regular and stuff. You're not a cat! All right guys, well I got a party, okay? It's got, uh, it's got a titan, it's got a swordsman, and it's got an apple cat, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna make the titan the leader or something, no? I don't know what I did. Go back, go back, it's fine. We got a party now, so let's party, right? Okay, here comes the quest. Battlefield, one out of three. So I'm supposed to tap on the things down here, and if they connect, you get like bonuses and shit. Now I shouldn't be trying to get the green ones because I think uh, it's like blue is good against green or something like that. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, look at that, that was an 11. Pretty good, wonderful, wonderful last tap. I'm gonna go with yellow, oh yeah. Oh, that's a seven, that's good, right? Did I do a good thing? Kill the shit out of them. Okay, so far so good. Got a new thing hatching here. What you got for me? Oh, now there's three of them. Okay, so now I, I can like target things. I'm just gonna try and get all the greens together so I can do that Titan thing. Cause yeah, you can see it is a little Titan down here and he wants to kick some ass. So let's go for, uh, let's go for red first. Then we'll get that. I don't even know if I needed any health, but it's okay. And now look at the green. This is what I'm talking about. So let's go with, uh, shit, I don't, I don't know who, oh wait, 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 look at that thing right up there. It says red is good against green. So, uh, that means that green is good against yellow, so we're gonna target the yellow guy, and we're gonna do the giant green attack. Go! Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Is he dead? Ooh! Okay! Okay, everybody's dead. I don't know what I'm doing. And now there's a boss, of course. There's always, there's always some sort of boss, right? Oh no! Not you guys, what am I going to do? Well, first of all, I'm gonna try and get those reds together, and then I'm going to attack the green guy. But before I do that, I'm gonna use the blue to attack the red guy. Okay, that didn't really do much. Let's go to the green guy and do the red attack. Anything happen? Oh, yeah, something happened, okay, good. I thought I screwed that up, but I didn't. Yay, 
it reminds me when I first started playing Battle Cats and there was like no way you could lose. You just you just tap a bunch of buttons and then you win and then slowly the game gets harder and harder and you hate yourself. All right, guys, so that is Crash Fever. I just wanted to give it a quick go considering there's a big collab going on and a bunch of people have asked me to give it a try, so. Hope that's good enough. Now I'm gonna go back to the moon, okay? I'm not gonna give this too many tries. I just wanna see if there's anything I can do here. Okay, so let me get my alien people out. Where, where are my aliens at? I don't think I have a, an anti-alien team set up right now. I'm gonna do that first, and then we're gonna go in there and we're gonna see the best way to get our asses kicked. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't remember how badly we lost last time, so yeah. There she is. Yeah, of course. It was Valkyrie. Corrupted Valkyrie. Look at how fast she just came over here and just started beating the crap out of us. I need to send out Catman, okay? I don't think he's gonna do too much, but he'll do a little bit of damage to her, right? Come on, Catman. You can do it. Shuffle along there, bro. Keep on shuffling. You're doing great. There he goes. Okay. So he did something. All right. We're dead. Like... Pretty dead, 78%, so not very good. But here's the thing we need to do, guys. We need to get these treasures. I mentioned it last time, I'll mention it again. I've gotten a bunch of them, but like, look at this. Get all treasures to increase attack power against aliens. Madagascar, Egypt, Mexico, and New York. So if I get this one, it'll help me out a lot, especially if I got all the golds in it. Uh, is there anything else that'd be super good against aliens that we need to have? This one increases special attacks against floating. So another good thing to have because she floats. So obviously guys, we're not ready to do the moon and into the future chapter two, but we'll get there, okay? This attempt that I just made was a lot better than the first one, I'm pretty sure. And that's because I actually did go back and get a lot of the treasures. So I'm gonna keep doing that. We'll get the treasures that we need and then we'll kick her ass eventually. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and I will see you next time. Goodbye.